What's going on everybody? This is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique and today we're gonna talk about how many meals should you be eating in a day. All right, welcome back everybody. I hope you are all having a fantastic week so far. We're midweek almost to the weekend, almost to Cinco de Mayo. And for all of those who are not dieting, hopefully you're gonna enjoy some Coronas, some tacos, burritos, whatever. Uh, and just, it's always a fun day to hang out with some friends and have a few cold ones. But today I wanted to talk about how many meals should we be eating in a day? So this is a question that arises quite often. And you know, the kind of sometimes the prevalent belief or used to be the belief is, well, you need to eat six meals a day, seven meals a day to really stoke the metabolism. Well, I think we've started to see a bit of a shift now to less meals throughout the day or intermittent fasting is going to be a better option for you. Uh, and a lot of the information out there is just kind of a whirlwind and it's always hard to okay, pick out what is right, what is wrong, what should I do? You know, should I intermittent fast? Should I be eating six six smaller meals a day? Only two meals a day? One meal? Three? Four? Who knows? <laughs> so, here are we are going to talk about some some guidelines for when it comes to deciding how many meals should you eat in a day. So, technically, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter whether you have six meals, seven meals, or whether you have three meals, two meals technically not going to matter. Now, I think like with anything, being at one extreme or the other is probably not gonna be the most optimal. So maybe having one meal a day, probably not going to be the best. And it's probably gonna be pretty hard to do, but it can be done, I guess, having seven smaller meals throughout the day. That's probably not gonna be the most optimal either. And so again, like with everything, we kinda of wanna find that middle ground when it comes to something like this, especially when maybe it doesn't necessarily matter at the end of the day, uh, but you probably still wanna do what is gonna most likely be the most optimal for the majority of people. Yes, we are gonna have the outliers, and sometimes it just depends on your schedule that you might only be able to fit in two meals in that day. Right? There are different circumstances, but I think for the most for most people, and a good rule of thumb, we're looking at anywhere from three to four meals a day. It's probably gonna be optimal for most people, and I think there's also a little bit of science behind having only three or four meals a day that is going to help you uh, the best, especially during a fat loss phase. So, why only three to four meals a day? Well, what this is going to do is this is going to one, help spread out your meals throughout the day. All right, so let's say you are dieting, and if you eat seven smaller meals throughout the day, chances are you're always gonna be hungry. You're never really gonna be full because as calories get lower, your seven meals are gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller, and you're never really gonna feel full, right? And if you only have one meal a day, well, you're just gonna be hungry and grumpy the whole day, and that's not gonna be the most optimal for muscle protein synthesis. So. Having that, those three, four meals throughout the day, what that can do is one, that easily helps us spread out our protein throughout the day. So we want about an even dosage of protein throughout the day so that we're continually stimulating muscle protein synthesis. Synthesis, sorry, All right? So you want at least 25 to 35 gram, 30 grams of protein per meal. It's high quality protein, right? That's what is going to be the, hit that threshold to start stimulating MPS. So what I find that just makes it really easy is I take my total protein number, I divide by three or divide by four, kind of depends on the day, and that's why I, I roughly try and hit each and every day, each and every meal is that protein number. That so what that does is that just helps break it all down, makes protein a little bit easier to hit at the end of the day because that can be a bit tougher of a macro to hit for a lot of people, and it stimulates that pro muscle protein synthesis every four to six hours, right? So that's kind of the timing that we're looking at. Every four to six hours, we should be looking to have a meal with some type of protein, all right? So muscle protein synthesis, and it's able to space out protein evenly, okay? So three, four meals, boom, right there. Two, I find that having it broken down like this allows for better energy for the gym and better recovery post-gym. So when we train, we're looking for about 25% of your carbs pre-workout and 25% of your carbs post-workout. So this is really just going to help with that 
energy for the gym, right? We're eating about an hour to an hour and a half or so before the gym, getting that 25% of our carbs, and then boom, right after, we're going right into recovery mode, having some protein, having some carbs, and getting the muscle recovery going. So if you're having seven meals a day, well, chances are you're not gonna have 25% of your carbs for that pre-workout and for that post-workout, so your workouts might suffer. If you're having one meal a day, well, there goes really any energy for the gym and any recovery really for that post-gym. So you can see where, again, they, those extremes, probably not gonna be the best for you and for potentially your goals, whether you're building muscle or fat loss phase. Three, now this is gonna be a bit more for our dieting people. Uh, when you reverse, this is probably not gonna be so uh, important, but it still could probably uh, apply. When we diet, we want to make sure that we are utilizing fat as our main energy source throughout the whole day, right? So if we are continually eating, our insulin is continually being stimulated and so we are continually storing glucose. Well, what's not happening is well, we're not really utilizing that body fat in between meals for energy. And so actually maybe you only go down three meals a day, you know, every five, six hours, you have those long periods in between where insulin isn't necessarily being stimulated and you know, the body isn't being, you know, body's not fighting over different processes to give you energy. And then we're actually going into a period of, okay, like now we're using body fat as our main energy fuel source throughout the day when we're not eating. So again, so if you're having seven meals, all day, every day, and we're kind of constantly stimulating insulin, well, we're never really gonna get into that major, uh, you know, fat energy that we're really wanting to use so that we are dropping body fat, right? Like, that's the goal. And so we wanna utilize kind of everything that we can to make sure that we are progressing towards what we want to achieve. So, four, I think just convenience. Um, you know, trying to have seven meals a day, you're constantly eating, one meal a day, two meals a day, like, you know, it, it does tend to make things, I think, a little bit harder when if you can just kind of go with the flow, have those three, four meals a day, right? You have like your normal breakfast. Maybe you can count one meal as like your pre-workout snack, uh, and then you have your post-workout meal, uh, and then kind of you have that one extra meal if you want uh, for that fourth meal, depending on where your macros are at, right? This is also gonna depend on how much food you have, how little food you have. For me, I've got a lot of food, so four meals a day makes it a lot easier for me to be able to hit everything. And if you got some smaller meals, well, it's probably, or smaller calories, well, it's probably gonna be a bit better to have those just those three meals so that you're actually kind of staying full in between meals. Uh, you know, I find that having a bigger bolus, so, you know, a, a bigger meal uh, to, to chew on, to eat, to digest, you're going to be a little bit more full in between meals. Whereas, you know, if you're constantly trying to eat or you're eating less, well, chances are hunger is going to hit a lot harder than it would have if we just had three big meals. I noticed a big difference uh, during my prep when I did that. Um, you know, I had three big meals a day, one small pre-workout snack, and for me, I found that the hunger stayed away for the most part just because I was eating so much at one point where it would get me to the next meal. So, four good reasons why you should probably not be at the extremes of seven, six, or one, two meals a day, and we're kind of looking at the three to four is gonna be optimal. But again, everyone's schedule is different, and you might have those days where it's only two meals, or it's just easier to eat maybe five, six, seven meals that day. And that's okay, because at the end of the day, as long as you hit your macros, that's always going to what is gonna matter the most. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to see any questions answered in future videos, be sure to either send me an email or just leave a comment down below. All right, guys, have a great rest of your Wednesday.